Okay, Lynn, so we're going to put uh, just 0.3 in your band today and hopefully that'll get you just into that right zone again. Mm -hmm. Before we get you up on the bench, I want to do a couple of things. Well, we're going to, remember we put you back over the pillow mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll flatten this down. And so it'll make it much easier for us to, to feel where the port goes. That's okay. Correct, yeah. So if you pop up here. Okay, Lynn, now we've got you, I hope you're comfortable there. Yes, I am. Notice that we've got the pillow under the, the small of the back and this raises, uh, it stretches the, the surface of the uh, abdomen a little bit so that we can feel the port easily. If the port's difficult to feel, we know that it's in relation to this larger wound here and it's usually just below. I can feel it easily here. If there's any difficulty finding the port, we don't want to hit the tubing as it's coming out of the, the reservoir. We want to always go from the opposite direction. That is, if the tubing is the tubing is coming up here towards the, the band, uh, we want to make sure, if it's difficult to feel, that we bring our needle from underneath. So I can feel this port, I can go directly, but if I was any doubt, I'd go a little bit below and walk up onto the, to the soft part of the port. Now I'll get ready to uh, do the adjustment. So the first thing I'm going to do is to prep the skin over the area where the, the reservoir is. And what I tend to do is to just leave the little swab there so I know where to put my fingers uh, uh, when I come back. And I do that prior to preparing the syringe. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to, to prepare the, uh, the syringe for the, the fill. Uh, the important thing here is to select a syringe that's going to allow me to put in just the, uh, the small amount of 0.3. So I've selected a 3ml syringe and because I can feel this port easily, um, I'm going to use uh, the shortest needle uh, that, uh, that, that, that we have. Uh, this is just a 25 centimetre needle uh, and um, the, it's important that the needle is always a, a huber tipped needle. Uh, so what I do is I'll, I'll prepare the syringe with about 0.5 cc, about half a mil of saline, uh, just sterile saline up to 0.5. Now I'm only going to inject uh, 0.3 insulin uh, at this particular adjustment. But this gives me a buffer and it minimises the risk of adding air to the reservoir. Okay Lynn, now we're going to do the adjustment. I'll just, I just remove the swab and I know where to feel. I use a no-touch technique if my fingers don't actually touch the area uh, where I'm going to inject. Uh, I've got my syringe ready and primed, there's no air in the syringe. and. I make a little incision, I just go through the skin very, very quickly. Feel the port, feel that the soft part of the port, and simply push it through such that the needle now I can feel is on the back wall of the reservoir. We can easily uh, uh, suck up, but we can easily um, take fluid out of the band to confirm that we're in the reservoir. And then I want to carefully add my 0.3 mils. One, two, three. Then when I add that fluid, I want to make sure that I keep the same amount there. I don't want to lose it. So the technique of removing the syringe is very important. We must control the plunger of the needle. We must control the bevel of the needle down here and push down as we gently bring it out. So we've added 0 0.2, 0 0.3 mils. Just gently bring it up out of the, the silicone plug and out. As simple as that. The, um, uh, the adjustment uh, should be uh, a very simple, uh, a very painless uh, uh, procedure. Okay, Lynn. Not too traumatic? No, that was fine. Thank okay, you, Okay, now John. I'm going to get you to sit up and we'll give you a drink just to see that everything's going down okay. Great, thank you. Okay, Lynn. Now I want you to drink that quite quickly. Not the way we normally want you to drink, but gulp it all down quite quickly and let me know if there's any problem at all. No, that's fine. It's gone down. Going fine. through? Thank you. You sure? Yes, okay. feels good. I'd like to make sure that it's not not sitting. Okay, so it's important that we check that someone can drink. I like uh, about 30 mils of fluid, maybe a little bit more, two or three gulps, just to be sure that it's going down comfortably. Uh, the chances of someone coming back if it's going down well is, is, is very low. So that's good. Thank you very we'll, much. Um, now you need to go carefully, uh, some more fluid, soft foods, and gradually grade up to normal diet over this next 24 hours. But remember, lap band friendly foods to start with. Okay? Fine, thank you, John. Good.